Hello and thanks for joining me today. I have a question for you. Is worship a waste of time? With everything that's going on in the world around us, wouldn't it make a whole lot more sense for us to get busy out there solving the problems of the world? Or maybe some people might ask the question with everything that's going on in the world around us, why bother with anything? Does worship matter? Is it a distraction from the work that we need to do? Or is it just wishful thinking in the midst of a world that is just going to keep spiraling downwards? What do we do? Well, it's interesting. I look to God for answers to my daily questions, and I believe that the Bible is God speaking to me and to us about the answers we need for today. When I look in the Bible, especially in the part of the Bible that describes the world going terribly wrong. I'm talking about the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible. What we see over and over again are people worshiping. We see the world spiraling out of control and then we catch a glimpse of angels and heavenly beings and martyred saints worshiping God around the throne. And then we return to a glimpse of what's going on on earth and then back to heaven and saints are praying and worshiping. Worship keeps coming up over and over again, even while there are all these things going wrong in the world, even while there's so much to be done. You see, I think the Bible shows us the real order of things, and that is that while there's a lot of good that needs to be done, it needs to be based in something. And I believe worship is what our actions flow out of. The best actions flow out of a trusting God. Because God actually asks us, first of all, to trust him, to have a relationship with him. And then out of that relationship to worship him, to keep coming back to him, yeah, focusing our attention on, it, on him, giving thanks to him, telling him how wonderful he is and how much we've experienced of him. It's a reminder to us as well as just a declaration of the truth. It fills us up. We need worship as an expression of our trusting relationship with God. But then something amazing happens. Out of that worship, out of that reminder of how great God is, out of that expression of our love for him, we are actually filled up to go out and do things that reflect God to the world around us. Now, that maybe sounds overly complicated, because why not just go out and do the good that we feel we need to do? Well, we can do that. I would ask the question, how long will it last? We've all had great ideas of things to do, gone out and started to do them, and well, how long has it lasted? We've just passed the new year. We've all made New Year's resolutions to be a better self. How long have those lasted? let alone a, a declaration or a commitment to go out and make the world a better place. Somehow, we need something more to sustain good actions. And of course, we can gather other people around us. Movements have certainly been spawned and grown and have, well, done lots of good in the world. But even there, as soon as you bring a few people together, over time, well, People have different opinions, we disagree, divisions grow, people rub each other the wrong way, different ones in a movement get a different idea of what the outcome should be, they splinter, and well, what started off as a united, powerful movement, again, sort of dwindles out into a lot of human action. What we need is something that brings us together, fills us up, and along the way keeps reminding us about where we're going. And that's where worship comes in. For a person of faith who has put their trust in Jesus Christ, worship becomes the constant reminder that he is our first relationship, our first love, that his ways are what we need to be adopting as our ways, that we model our lives after him.
It is a constant reminder, but it's also a constant reminder that while we are in a relationship with him, we are also in a relationship with the others who are in a relationship with him, that we're in a movement that's more than just about making the world a better place. It's about a relationship that we want all people in the world to share in. Worship draws us back to the person that it's all about and feeds us so that we are ready to continue the work he's called us to. Worship is not a waste of time. Worship is what feeds us for the mission we've been called to. God uses the people who trust him, who worship him, and out of trust and worship, obey him in order to be a part of what he's doing. And that brings me to one other really important point, and that is that sometimes we feel crushed under the responsibility of the things we see going on around us, the the changes we want to see happen. You and I are not called to change the world. God does that. You and I are called to be faithful to God, to trust him, to worship him, to obey him. And as we do that, He brings us into the amazing, world-changing work that he's already doing. Yeah, we get to be a part of changing the world, but really it's God who's doing the work. And worship reminds us about that as well. It's not me. It's not you. It's God who's doing the heavy lifting. This past Sunday, a number of us had the chance to meet together via Zoom to share communion an act of worship, a reminder of our relationship with God through Jesus Christ. It wasn't anything fancy. It wasn't anything dramatic. It was a very simple celebration of the Lord's Supper. But in the midst of that, we had the chance to encourage each other with verses from the Bible that have been an encouragement to us. We had the chance to share with each other uh, what's been on our hearts, the things that break our hearts, as well as the things that have been a real celebration and have brought us joy. We had a chance to pray together for the things that we brought to the table, but in prayer we brought them to God. We worshiped together, we were fed together, and I have to say, speaking just for myself, It was a powerful, moving experience, and coming out of that, it has changed my perspective. It has been a reminder that God is in control. Even though we can't see each other, we caught glimpses of how God is at work and how God is touching our hearts. God is still in charge, and God is still in love with you and me and this world that he made. Let's continue to praise him. Look for opportunities to worship him, even if it's just quietly at home with the radio on or in front of your computer with a worship service that you can watch, through a Zoom call where you gather with a few others over the phone, talking to one other person where you can share and pray and encourage each other and remind each other how great God is. But worship is at the core and at the beginning of all that we do. My friends, it's good to share this time together and it's good that we get to worship however it happens. So be encouraged today. God bless you and we'll talk again soon.